Greetings, everyone. Once again, this is Elder R. L. Dunlap Jr. coming on to you with the only infallible, the only uncompromising, the only unadulterated, infallible written the word of God. We greet you and we represent God the Father, the only true and living God, and the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, God's Son that is alive and is now set on the right hand of the Father. Now Jesus came here once and left instructions on what to do. For he said he's coming back, and he's coming back to see if you follow his instructions. And to see if you live the way he told you to live. So he's coming back <laughs> to see if you obey him. Excuse me. And if you didn't obey him, woe be unto you. You're going to perish in the lake of fire and brimstone if you didn't obey him. He left instructions. And he left and went back. And he sat on the right hand of the Father. But he left instructions for us to follow. And when he come back, and he's coming back, and you don't know when he's coming back, but he's coming back, he said, be ready. In order to be ready, that means you have to have obeyed his instructions. And those instructions are live holy, free from sin. Be born again. Repent of your sin. And live the way he told you to live. Keep his commandments. He never commanded nobody to sin, but he said the opposite. <laughs> All right. Now, Today, Elder Rick and Mark, God bless you, sir. All you that fear the whole truth telecast. Get your Bibles and read along with us so you can see for yourself and understand for yourself. Go to St. Mark, the ninth chapter. We're going to talk about Pardon me, pardon me. St. Mark the 11th chapter. Excuse me. St. Mark the 11th chapter. We're going to talk about Jesus cursing the fig tree. Jesus cursing the fig tree. Jesus cursing the fig tree. We want to look at it from a natural standpoint. <laughs> we also want to look at it from who is the fig tree uh -huh. who is labeled as the fig tree and we also going to show uh well, we're going to do a quick in-depth study on that. Go, go to go to St. Mark, the 11th chapter. Let's go to work. This shouldn't be long. St. Mark 11. And we want to begin with the 12th verse. St. Mark 11 and 12. Read with us. And on the morrow, when they were come to Bethany, he was hungry. Me talking about Jesus was hungry. Now, and seeing a fig tree afar off having leaves, having leaves, he came, if happily, he might find anything thereon. 
And when he came to it, he found nothing but leaves. The fig tree from afar off appeared to have fruit. He saw the fall. Oh, he was hungry. Jesus was hungry. I see a fig tree down there. We're going to get something to eat. <laughs> Hallelujah. You know when you're traveling and you're on a highway or the expressway, you see signs that say restaurant next exit, restaurant food, restaurant two miles ahead, restaurant one mile ahead. Cause you want to get something to eat. Jesus saw the fig tree afar off. Oh, I better get something to eat there. Cause he was hungry. The tree had leaves on it. It, it wasn't no dead tree. The tree was not dead. That's a message. The tree wasn't dead. The tree had leaves. It wasn't dead. It had leaves. It wasn't dead. It had leaves. It was looking good to fall. Say, so I'm going to go with that fig tree and I'm going to get me something to eat. Read. It was not dead. And when he came to it, he found nothing but leaves. Nothing but leaves. That's all he found. Wasn't no figs on. Watch this. For the time of figs was not yet. The time of figs was not yet. The time of figs was not yet. And Jesus answered and said to it, No man eat fruit of thee hereafter forever. And his disciples heard it. Jesus said, Nobody is going to eat fruit from you from now on. What is that saying? Jesus was looking for some fruit. Some fruit supposed to be on it. Watch this. The time of figs was not yet. That did not say that it was not the season of fig. That didn't say that. That didn't say it was out of season. That didn't say that. It did not say that. It did not say it was out of season. The Bible did not say that it was not the season of fig. Don't you know Jesus know when the season is of figs? If you're a farmer and you plant trees, you know when the season is. You know when it is. It was the season for figs to be on. But they had none. They should have had some, but they had none. Looked good from afar off. But when it came to it, they had none. Jesus said, no man eat fruit of thee hereafter forever. From now on, nobody will get no fruit from thee. Even, watch it, get, get me good. Even if next time it come around and you bear fruit. I want you to get this. Even if later on you bear fruit, or next summer you bear fruit, you can wait too late. We're talking about people. Now, you can wait too late. You can wait too late. You can wait too late. You can cross the line. God can take his hands off of you. God can take his hands off of you. You go on seasons and seasons and seasons without bearing fruit. God can take his hands off of you. 
and he will do it. The time of figs is not yet. That's not saying that it wasn't the season for figs. It didn't say it was not the season for figs. It did not say it was not the season for figs. Let me kind of let me say this. You do know that before you send laborers into the harvest to gather figs, Jesus said one time, do people gather grapes of thistles and thorn of figs? You do know when you send laborers into the harvest, you do know when it's harvest time, let make it plain. This the way I see it. Ain't no use nobody writing me and say, well, the Bible ain't say what you said. I'm saying this the way that I see it. Got it? So ain't no use writing me. The Bible don't say that. I'm saying this is the way I see it. Before harvest time, before you send for and get the fruit off the tree, before, if you got an apple tree, before you go picking apples. Before you go, let's say we're going to go and pick apples next week. This time next week, we're going to go and pick apples. Apples is already on the tree. This week, before you even go to pick them, they already on the tree this week. Before you go to pick them, they already there this week. So I believe, you hear me say I, I didn't say the Bible, I said I. I believe that they had, before the harvest, before they gleaned the field, you, you had biblically literate, you know when you say when you glean the field, don't clean all your field. Leave some for the stranger and leave some for the poor. I believe Jesus went before they gleaned. Before they gleaned. He didn't say nothing about another tree. Jesus went before they sent folks to glean. Before the gleaning. Okay, we're going to glean next week. I'm going to get me some folks together. We're going to go to the fig tree and we're going to pick figs. We're going to pick them. <laughs> Woo! Before they fall to the ground, we're going to pick them. I live long enough. I saw a fig tree. The old fig will fall to the ground. Before they fall to the ground, we're going to go and pick them. Next week, we're going out there to the fig tree and we're going to pick figs. Next week. But the figs on the tree this week. But the time, the allotted time to go pick them is next week. How many caught that? The allotted time to go pick the figs is next week. I see Jesus went before the allotted time to pick the figs. Watch this. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it, Dr. Brown. Watch it, Sister Ryder. Watch it. It said the time of figs is not yet. It did not say it was not fig season. It didn't say that. It didn't say it was a fig season. So fig was supposed to be on the tree. You think Jesus stupid? You think Jesus slow? So fig supposed to be on that tree. The tree was supposed to have fig. It was time for figs to be on the tree. It was the season for figs to be on the tree. 
what I what I see. No, the Bible don't say I say me. What I see is that Jesus went to the tree before the allotted time when it was time to go and reap the harvest and glean. Before gleaning. If gleaning next week, today is Wednesday. If gleaning, if we're going to go glean next Wednesday, if we're going to go glean next Wednesday, if we're going to go glean next Wednesday, don't you know there's fruit already on the tree today? The fruit don't come on the tree when we go out there and glean. It's already there. The fruit don't just appear when we go out to reap. It's already there before we go out to reap. Before we go out and pull that apple or pull that fig or pull that plum or pull that orange. That orange. It's already on the tree before we go out to do it. Before y'all have to go and have some Mexicans to go and pick y'all's apples. The apple's already there. Before you go get a crew and clean, they already there. I believe Jesus went before everybody else gleaned. He was the first one that went there before anybody else. That's what I believe. Now, he said, no man eat fruit here, hereafter. Forever. What did that mean? What, what did that mean? Then it came on down and they saw the, in 21, they saw the fig tree was withered away. But Jesus said, no man eat fruit from you forever. Watch this. Go to go to go to St. Luke. Thirteen. And six. Let me show you something. St. Luke 13 and 6. Now, what I gave you about my view on is not time for feed. What I see, that's not saying no, it's not season for feed. That's not saying that. What I see is that saying Jesus went there before anybody else went there. Jesus was the first one with that. <laughs> before all the rest of them came to Glean. All right. St. Luke 13, 6. And he spake a parable. Watch this. A certain man had a fig tree planted in the vineyard. And he came and sought fruit thereon, and there was none. That's the same. Now, this is the same thing that happened with that fig tree. Some fruit. Was supposed to be on the tree. Some figs was supposed to be on the tree. Then said he to the dress of the vine yard, Behold, these three years, three years, I came seeking fruit on this fig tree and found none. Three years, it didn't bear fruit. Three years, three seasons, it didn't bear fruit. Three years, it didn't bear fruit. He said, cut it down. Cut it down. Cut it down. It, it ain't no use. Cut it down. It didn't bear fruit. Cut it down. And he answered and said to the Lord, let, let, give it one more year. Let it alone this year. Also, till I dig around it and dog it, I'm going to put fertilizer on it. I'm going to dig around it. I'm going to put fertilizer on it. I'm going to put fruit grow on it, all that kind of stuff. I'm going to put all that stuff on it to make it grow. Let's see if it's going to grow. And if it bear fruit, well, but if not, then cut it down. I'm going to do what needs to be do, what needs to be done to it for it to bear fruit. And if it don't bear fruit, then cut it down.
Now, that's talking about we deal with that natural. But let's go to the to the message in that to us. We are the fig tree. You the fig tree. You the fig tree. You supposed to be bad fruit. Let's show that. Go to St. John. St. <laughs> John 15. And one, St. John 15 and one. I am the true vine. My father is the hub of man. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. You don't bear fruit, he gonna take you away. He gonna get rid of you. You don't bear fruit. Everybody that, that bear fruit, he purges it, then it may bring forth more fruit. If you don't bear fruit, he gonna take you away. What good are you? Six. If a man abide not in me, he is cast forth as a branch. And is withered. And men gather them and cast them into the fire, and they are burned. You ain't no good, you ain't bad fruit. Let's go, Father. Go to St. Luke, the third chapter. We talk about we talk about we talk about people now. St. Luke the third chapter and the eighth verse. And we bow through. St. Luke 3 and, earth, 3 and 8. Three seven. St. Luke 3 7. Then said he to the multitude that came forth. They're talking about John the Baptist. To the multitude that came forth to be baptized of him. Old generation of vipers. Who had warned you to flee the wrath to come? Bring forth therefore fruits worthy of repentance. And begin not to say within yourself, we, we have Abraham the our father. For I say unto you that God is able of these stones to raise up children of Abraham. Watch this. And now the axe is laid at the root of a tree. Every tree that which bringeth not forth good fruit is hewed down and cast into the fire. The axe is at the root of the tree. You don't bring forth good fruit. You don't bear fruit. He gonna chop you down. Go chop you down. Go chop you down and burn you up. That's talking about you. That's talking about you. Let's go forward. And the people ask him, saying, What shall we do then? And he has to say it unto them, He that had two coats, let him impart one to him that have none. He that have meat, let him do, let him like do, let him do likewise. Care for your name. And the public came to be baptized. He said to him, Master, what shall we do? He said to them, Exact no more than that which is important unto you. Don't overcharge the folks. Then what you do before you get baptized. You repent. Read. And the soldiers likewise the man of him and saying, And what shall we do? He said to them, do violence to no man. Don't you do violence to nobody. Neither accuse anyone falsely and be content with your ways. Don't you do harm to nobody. And then what they were told to do before they came to be baptized. They didn't want to get chopped down with that axe. Now back to the fruit, back to the fruit tree, and, I, and I'm through, and I'm through. 
and, and then if you go farther and read, it, 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 let, it lets you know that when you see the fig tree spring forth, you know that the summer is here, so shall it be the coming of the Son of Man. When you see all these things happening, the coming is not far. The fig tree, it was not it was not the time of fig that did not say it was not the season of figs. It didn't say that. Folks have said for years, well, why did you curse why did you curse the tree when it wasn't even a season for fig? The Bible didn't say it wasn't a season for fig. It didn't say that. The time of fig, I see, I say I. Before the harvest, Jesus went to get fed before the harvest. Before worker was sent out, before labor was sent out, Jesus himself went looking for fruit and found none. That's all. That's all. That's all. That's all. Why, why did Jesus cut the feed tree? No fruit. It was supposed to be fruit. But it was known. You supposed to bear fruit, but you are not. If you ain't careful, he gonna curse you. If you ain't careful, be careful that he don't curse you. You gonna bear fruit. If you don't, he gonna put you out. The far is a every brand that bear not fruit is taken away. You gonna be took away. You think you in the church. You ain't bad fruit. You ain't living right. You ain't in the church. You've been put out a long time ago. And you don't even realize. It's impossible to be in Christ and don't bear fruit. It's impossible. Why, man, let me do this. You know, smart folks. They say, well, it's going to be it's going to be somebody it's going to be somebody up in here that didn't bear no fruit. You are a lie. You's a lie. You are a liar. If you in Christ, you're going to bear fruit or else you're going to be out of Christ. It's impossible to abide in Christ and not bear fruit. That's impossible. You going to bear fruit. Ain't no such thing. You in Christ and you ain't bearing fruit. You're not in it. You're not in it. Let's get that clear. You're not in him and you ain't bearing fruit. You're not in it. All right. All right. Once again, the time of figs was not yet. I don't see what, it didn't say that the season of figs was not yet. It didn't say that. It said the time of figs. I believe that's talking about Jesus came before the harvest, before labor was sent in to pull the feeds. Jesus came. Before the gleaners were sent out to glean, Jesus came. If gleaning next week, if gleaning next week, if gleaning next week, it's fruit on tree right now, if gleaning next week. If you go glean feeds next week, this time next week, it's figs on tree right now. If you're going to pull apples this time next week, it's apples on the tree right now. Jesus went before the time before, that was the way I see it. Jesus went before the gleaner was sent out to glean. Jesus went before that time. All right. God bless you. God keep you in my prayer. Now, you critics, pay, listen to the whole video before you flower. I did, the Bible did not say that it was not the season of figs. The Bible didn't say that. The Bible didn't say that. It say the time of figs. What I see, I say what I see. The time of harvest. The time when people went out. You remember the harvest at Plenteous? It's already Plenteous. But the labor are few. 
Before any of the labor went out, I believe Jesus went to the tree looking for feet. And Psalm should have been that. The labor won't go out to next week. Or later on, or, to, or in the morning. The labor won't go out there in the morning. In the morning, we'll go out there now. We'll get that crop. In the morning, we'll go out there and get that crop. Jesus went today before morning. Some should have been there. That's the way I see it. All right. But we did explain why did Jesus cut the fig tree? No fruit. And if you don't bear fruit, he's going to curse you. The Father going to take you away. Every branch that bearing not fruit is taken away. The Father going to take you away. You don't bear fruit, you'll be taken away. That's a warning. That's a warning. You'll be took away if you don't bear fruit. What is bearing fruit? Doing what Jesus said do. Keeping his commandment. That's bearing fruit. Simple. That's bearing fruit. Keeping his commandment. You don't forgive, you ain't bearing fruit. You don't love, you ain't bearing fruit. You got hatred in your heart, you ain't bearing fruit. You got respect the person, you ain't bad fruit. You pray to be seen and do things, give your arm to be seen, you ain't bad fruit. You got to obey this. Live by every word that's bad fruit. Obey the word of God, you're bad and fruit. If you don't obey the word of God, you are not bad fruit. It's that simple. That's enough. God bless you. God keep you in my prayer. Thank you all for viewing.